Hello everyone and welcome back to Kitty's Rapsy Dillies, your favorite devotional program. My name is Zoe and so with me today I have, drum rolls please. Hello, my name is Pearl and I'm so excited to be with you all today because as we read today's message, we're going to be very blessed and saturated with the Word of God. Yes, Pearl, indeed. Every time that we meditate on the Word, we learn more and more and more. And it's important that we learn that because when we when we do that, our spirits are, they're, like you said, we're saturated with the Word of God. And it's like a sponge. When we soak it with water, when you squeeze it, what comes out is water. So if we soak ourselves with the Word of God, when situations and challenges come our way, what comes out is the Word of God. Yes, Zoe. Make sure that you study on God's Word and you can do that daily by reading Rhapsody of Realities and tuning in with us every day to read it and discuss more about it. So make sure that you read your Rhapsody every day. Thank you, Pastor Sir. Thank you, Pastor Chris Sir, for making this book and for always looking out for the kids to make sure that they are studying and meditating on God's Word. I love you very much, Pastor Sir. Zoe, what would you like to say to Pastor Chris? Thank you, Prof. Raxing. I'd like to say thank you, Pastor, for giving us this opportunity to read the Word of God because, you know, <clears throat> As we meditate on it every single day, we learn more and more. And it's important having a book like this so that every day you start your day right. You start your day on the wrong, on the right way by reading the Word of God. So you are already soaked, you're already soaked up. So you're ready to go and start your day. So thank you so much, Pastor Sir, and I love you. With that said, don't go anywhere because stay right there and we'll be right back to read today's message. Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today's title is The Miracle Inside You. Our opening verse is taken from Acts 1 verses 8. It says, But when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, you will receive power. Pastor goes on to say, Have you received the Holy Spirit? If you have, then I want you to know that He is all you need to live a wonderful life in Christ. Some children are often weak inside and fearful. The reason they're that way is either because they don't have the Holy Spirit or don't know who He is and what He can do in and through them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Chris goes on to tell us the Holy Spirit is the miracle working ability inside you. He will strengthen you and make you bold. It doesn't matter how old you are or the color of your skin. Always remember that the miracle you desire to see in your life is already inside you. Learn to switch on the power of the, of the Holy Spirit inside you as you pray in other tongues and speak the word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. With that said, stay tuned and we'll be right back to discuss what we learned from today's message. Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Dailies, your favorite devotional program. Today's message is titled, The Miracle Inside You. Pearl, after reading this amazing message, I'm sure you have a lot to say. Yes, I do. What I have to say and what I learned is that the Holy Spirit is the miracle working ability inside of you. So that means that many people in the world, they're fearful and they feel alone all the time. But since you've received the Holy Spirit, you're not alone. You have the Holy Spirit and He's a miracle working ability inside of you. That means He can use you to do mighty things. He can tell you the right things to do and He'll lead you to do the right thing. All you have to do is listen to Him, listen to His voice. And that's why you see that Pastor, He's always doing the right things and He's working in God's 
walking in God's grace. And if you want to be like Pastor Chris, just listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit and you, He will be using you to do miracles in the lives of others. He will use you to preach the gospel and so much more. That's why it's important that you recognize Him living in you. So make sure that you listen to Him and Zoe, that's what I learned. And I'd like to know what you learned, Zoe. Well, thank you, Pearl. So what I learned is that, you know, it's very important that we know that the miracle that you, you know, the problem sometimes is that a lot of Christians around the world, they are troubled because they're looking for an answer outside of the world. Um, when what they, what they don't understand is that the answer that they desire is inside of them. It's already there. All they need to do is to activate it. And how do you activate it? Like the Rhapsody of today, it said that the way we do that is by meditating on the word and by speaking in other tongues. Because as we do so, you see a change in your life and in the world. You know, a lot of times the miracle that we seek in the world, for example, during this fiasco, when we prayed, we created a huge change and an impact in the nations of the world. So in your situation, the miracle is already inside you. What you need to do, if there's things happening, for example, if there's a pain in your body, in your leg, if there are financial issues, what you do, pray about it, speak in other tongues, because as you pray, you make changes and you will see a change in your life so pearl that's why i feel like it's very important that we understand and that like the that we prioritize these things that we learned today so pearl that's what i learned wow zoe that's so impactful i hope you're listening that's it stay tuned and we'll be right back to say to take our confession and our further study scripture Welcome back to Kitty's Rhapsody Daily's your favorite devotional program. Today's message is titled The Miracles Inside You. Let's take our confession. Our words are very powerful, so let's declare the right things in our lives today. Kindly repeat after me. Say this. I can do all things. I can do all things. I'm bold. I'm bold. And I am strong. And I am strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we'll take our first study scripture. Our first study scripture is taken from Ephesians 5 verses 18 to 19. I'm reading from King James Version. It says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody, in your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today, Pro, we learned that the miracle is inside of you. You don't need to look elsewhere. You don't need to look anywhere else because it's already there. How to receive it is by speaking in other tongues and meditating on the Word of God. Because as you do so, you'll realize and you'll start seeing it appear in your life. Just like that, all of a sudden, things will be going from glory to glory in your life. Yes, indeed. The miracles inside of you. If you have the Holy Spirit, it means that the Holy Spirit will be able to guide you to do the right thing. And make sure to listen to His voice. With that said, keep shining with Rhapsody. We love you. Bye.